For everyone, foreign tour is always special and especially when the first foreign tour is even more memorable. Likewise, we were excited about this journey. We planned our journey in such a way that everything should be organized to make it hassle-free. The best example is we made an excel sheet about the things to be kept in each suitcase. We boarded at Kempegowd International Airport, Bengaluru on 6th January 2016 at 4.30 am and the flight was at 6.30 am to New Delhi. It was obvious that our family members were even more excited than us to give send off to England. We boarded at Air India flight to New Delhi and we reached Indira Gandhi Airport at 9.30 am and from there we had our flight to Birmingham at 1.30 pm. Since it was a 3 hours of waiting time, we got the space to roam around New Delhi Airport and had an ample time to do early check-in. Due to the eagerness and early boarding schedule, we could not sleep on the previous night and hence once we boarded on Birmingham flight, after the takeoff, we had a good sleep. It was 5.30 pm BST when we arrived at Birmingham International Airport. The chilling breeze at minus 2 degree welcomed us. We called our family to confirm our safe arrival and booked a taxi to Banbury where our friend Vinay and family were staying. Since it was our first travel to this country, it was very difficult for us to find a house immediately after the arrival. Vinay helped us to stay at his place until we got a house. We had preloaded balance of one pound in our new UK SIM, which became nil after calling our parents about our arrival. Here is an interesting incident. We rushed to a nearby supermarket on the way and we asked the shopkeeper to recharge the mobile. We asked which type of charger required. Then we explained him that to put currency as in Indian slang. He asked which currency to put and we both got confused and again explained that we are not able to call anybody in the mobile because there is no money in the SIM card. Then the shopkeeper realized that we need to top up our SIM. Therefore, from then we started to understand UK's slang words. We reached Vinay's house at Banbury at around 7.30 pm. A tired day ended with jet lag after having delicious dinner prepared by Rashmi Vinay. I informed my colleagues about my arrival and got ready to go to office the next day. Since it was minus 4 degrees centigrade temperature, I covered myself with thermal wear and gloves. I took a train from Banbury to Leamington and from there my colleague Raghu picked me to office at Coventry. Remember, train is costlier than buses in UK. On the same day, I started searching a house in Coventry and we shifted to our new home after a week by thanking Mr. and Mrs. Vinay for the great hospitality. In the next video, we will show you the house where we stayed at Coventry. Thank you. Bye-bye.